Hey Bass Fanatics, Den Herring here. My channel is FishDen365. Welcome back. It's time to have another subscriber giveaway. Last count we were at 512 subscribers. We've quickly gotten past the 500 point and it's time for another giveaway. So let's talk a little bit about some of the lures that we're going to be giving away this time. So the lure I have here in my hand is a Cordell Redfin. This is probably, in my estimation or my opinion, one of the best topwater striper lures ever made. In my, well, I think it's the best topwater striper lure ever ever made. You might say, hey Dan, how, why is that a topwater lure? It's got a lip on here. Doesn't it dive under the surface? And the answer is to that is yes, it does dive under the surface if you're reeling it in fast enough where it can go under. But the strength of the Redfin is not a subsurface bait the strength of the red fin is on the surface. So what you do is you just throw it out there and you let those ripples subside after it lands in the water and then you reel it in very slowly and it becomes a wake bait then. So the red fin is one of the more, one of the original wake baits uh, before they became popular years later. This bait's been around for a long time. But it has a very, very interesting action. It does two things at once. It, it, it wiggles back and forth this way, but it also rolls this way. So it does this, rolling, and it also does this. And the combination of that wiggle and the roll on the surface, using it as a wake, wake bait, is, is uh, almost irresistible to striped bass. This bait lurks very well at night during the shad spawn. When you have a gizzard shad spawning, when you have alewives spawning, this is a very good bait to throw. It also catches smallmouth bass and largemouth bass just as well. And the times to use this are already, like I stated, at night, but also that first hour after daybreak and the, uh, the last hour of daylight before dark is another really good time to use this bait as a wake bait. There's another period of time where I really like to use this where I live here in Pennsylvania, and that is in November, in the late afternoon, that last hour of daylight in the afternoon, because we're talking mid to late November, it gets dark pretty early by then. But that, that last hour, hour and a half, when the lake settles down, uh, sometimes the wind will die down and you'll get that glass calm surface. That's the time to throw this bait. It's a great largemouth and smallmouth bait then, uh, as well as a striper bait. So that's one of the lures I'll be giving away. Here's one complete in the package. That'll be, that'll be going out to a lucky winner. Along with that, is another very interesting lure. This is also a Cordell lure. Cordell makes the Redfin, but they make this lure too. This one you might not be as familiar with. It's called a Blue Striper, a Cordell Blue Striper. It was meant for striper fishing. The lure is no longer in production today, and it's an oddball lure in that you, you the line tie is under the nose of the bait. And so uh, this is a, a lure today that's uh, a lot of people would want to get, but it's not readily available anymore. You can get it on eBay. I've seen them for $30, $35 on eBay. But I have a feeling this one here is even more expensive because it's a bone-colored one. And the ones I see on eBay are more popular colors, like the blue silvers and the blue and that kind of thing. I don't see many of the bone-colored ones on eBay. And the story of why I have this lure is I was interested in fishing this lure years ago. We're going back maybe 20 years now, or getting close to 20 years. And the uh, the maker, Cordell, they, they, they didn't have it in production anymore. And so a number of anglers got in touch with them and convinced them to do one last run of a thousand. And they did a thousand lures, and I bought about 40 of them at that time, and some of them were this color. So I have several this color. That's why I'm willing to give one away. The nice thing about bone is it's, it's a great color in and of itself. It's a really good bass catching color. But because it's bone, if you are good with an airbrush or have a friend that's good with an airbrush, you can get it painted like this, get it custom painted. This one's a really nice Tennessee shad pattern. Uh, you can see the same bait. It was bone at one time and someone just painted it up for me. This blue striper, if you're fishing uh, out in mid Pennsylvania at Raystown Lake, this is a legendary lure out there for the smallmouths and the stripers. It, uh, it works really well. Anywhere you have alewives and gizzard shad, this lure works. Now this one sinks like a stone as soon as you throw it out. 
but if you reel it fast enough, it tends to come right up to the surface. So you can make this one wake also. But this really isn't meant to be as much of a wake bait. This one has a wandering uh, action to it, almost like a glide bait in that it goes this way and then back this way. And it has this rolling action, very unique, very different from most other lures. And uh, that's where this lure shines. It's just the fish don't see this very often. And so it's a good catcher for striped bass, works great at night. Uh, smallmouth bass really like this bait too. It catches largemouth as well, but smallmouth seem to go crazy over it. They, they just have this curiosity toward it. Uh, it does have a tendency to rise up in the water surface when you're reeling it in. So you want to you use this lure when the water is very clear. Some people will uh, modify the, the bait. They'll actually drill some holes in the bottom and add weights inside and uh, that will allow it to sink faster and, and, and allow you to, to fish the lure deeper for catching those deeper fish. Other people will put a weight on the front of their line, like a Texas rig uh, uh, bullet weight, and, and try and get the bait down further that way. When you're fishing both the red fin and the Cordell blue striper, you're going to want to use a snap, uh, a pretty decent snap, a strong snap, one that has some good size to it because these things catch stripers, they pull like crazy, they're like freight trains, so you want to make sure you have strong um, terminal tackle and terminal equipment when you're, when you're throwing these things. The, the uh, split rings that come with the red fin are, are typically good and strong. I think they are also on the blue striper, but I always change the hooks. You know what hooks I use. It's the EWG, Gamagatsus. They are great hooks, and uh, when you're fishing stripers, you can get the 2X or even 3X. They're just stronger hooks. They're less likely to bend out when you have a 20 pound fish pulling on the end of your line. So this blue striper is going out too. And then uh, well, I'm also going to throw in a pulsator spinner bait. So this is a Nichols pulsator. This is a very good spinner bait. One of, one of the best days I ever had was on this lure at, uh, at Lake Nakamixon in the spring one day. And uh, I was fishing, just throwing a spinner bait and I got onto a spot where I was catching one fish after another and none of them were under four pounds. They were all four and a half to like six pounds. And it was just, it was unbelievable actually. One of them was a small mouth that weighed about five pounds and the rest were large mouths. And it was just one cast after another. And I put like about 11 or 12 fish in a row, almost, I think it was in a row. There might've been a cast or two in between where I didn't catch a fish, but it was, you know, maybe 14 casts and I got like 12 fish all on this bait. So it's one of the most memorable days I've had because they're all giants. And, uh, and that was on the spinner bait here. So I'll be sending that out also. So we'll be spend, sending the spinner bait out, the Cordell Blue Striper and the Cordell Red Fin. And I may throw some soft plastics in there too to, to one lucky winner. So now's the part that's important. How do you win on this subscriber giveaway? It's going to be the same rules as last time. There's a couple of criteria that you have to do. Number one, you have to subscribe to my channel. So if you're subscribed, you're good. If you haven't and you want to win, subscribe to the channel. Number two, on this video, you need to give me a comment. So you'll send a comment. It has to be related to this video. So the comment has to be attached to this video. And that's the only two criteria. I'll let a week or two go by and at some point we'll randomly pick a lucky winner and I'll send this stuff out to them. So don't forget, subscribe to the channel um, and then also comment on this video. And the comment could be anything, I don't really care. You can comment on the baits if you have any, if you have any uh, uh, experience with them. Um, but it really doesn't matter what you comment. You can just say anything you want, just you know, that, you're, that you hope to win, this kind of thing. And uh, so for those who are subscribed and who comment on the video, You'll be in the drawing, and in a couple of weeks, we'll have the drawing, and we'll pick a winner. So good luck to everybody out there. Right now, it's been extremely cold. We went, we just got from you know single digits at night to today. Now we 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 went up into the 50s. This morning when I got up, it was in the 50s, but it was pouring rain, and it and it's rained all day. It's finally coming to an end now, and now cold air is going to be pushing in again. I hear by this time next week, it's going to be even colder than last week, which means. Uh, fishing is not going to be an option, at least not on the lakes. Hopefully I'll be able to get out on the stream sometime soon and make a video that way. Uh, if not, uh, we'll keep you posted on what we're doing on the dragonfly lure. This is the lure that I talked about in the last video. Uh, someone gave me a good comment, a good idea.
to use maybe a tube and have the tube drill uh, holes in that lure, put the tube through the lure, and then put the, uh, put the skirt material through the tube and then just glue the tube into the lure. I thought that was a good idea and I might just try and use a pen. The, the tube that holds the ink might work. So that's one of the things that I'll be trying. When I get a little closer to getting something together there, I'll share it with you and, and show you what it looks like and tell you how I did. Well, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're excited about winning on the subscriber giveaway. If you are, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to bringing another video to you soon. Always remember, we're certified bassified here. My channel is all about the art and science of fishing, especially bass fishing. And I'm looking forward to getting back on the water. And as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.